Welcome to the New Mexico Smart Grid Center project team. We're happy to have you. For this training, you will need a pencil and a paper. Please pause and grab them now. There will be a short quiz. Got them? Great. There are so many things we want to tell you, but there isn't enough time and you are busy. Therefore, we are only asking you to know the following key concepts by the end of this training. Mainly, how, what, and where. How it all fits together. What is the main goal of the New Mexico Smart Grid Center? And where can you find more project resources? To make sure you learn the main points, we've also included little keys on the most important slides. So let's go. How it all fits together. First, we want you to know that the New Mexico Smart Grid Center does not exist in a vacuum. It's part of something much, much bigger. Here's a brief overview of what's going on. The New Mexico Smart Grid Center is the project that you just joined. This project is managed by the New Mexico EPSCoR State Office. EPSCoR stands for the Established Program to Stimulate Competitive Research. It's not critical that you know this acronym, but if you were wondering, now you know. The New Mexico EPSCoR State Office does everything from budget and reporting to meeting planning and public relations. We're the ones who send out the newsletters each month. We're the ones who help you with workshops and outreach. We organize trainings, and we're the ones who made this video. We also meet with lawmakers, National Science Foundation officials, and the public. We are responsible for making the project run smoothly and supporting you. Our office is funded by the National Science Foundation. NSF funds basic research and science and engineering education across the U.S. They fund state EPSCoR programs like ours nationwide to enhance research competitiveness by strengthening STEM capacity and capability. Bottom line, you are part of the nationwide National Science Foundation EPSCoR program. This is a key point. Great, so that was a quick and dirty explanation of the broader picture. But you may be wondering, what is the Smart Grid? And what is the Smart Grid Center? First, let's look at a super simplified explanation of a traditional electric grid. Electricity is sent along power lines from the utility, usually to your house. In a smart grid, the same thing happens, but information is also allowed to travel along the lines. A smart grid is a grid that can support the two-way flow of electricity and information. This project is looking at ways to transform our current electricity grid, the one powering your computer right now, into a smart grid. We are specifically looking at a type of smart grid technology called distribution feeder microgrids but these are a bit too complicated to explain in less than 10 minutes. And what is the New Mexico Smart Grid Center? Let's clear something up right off the bat. There's no physical center. It is confusing, we know. If it helps, you can pretend the word isn't there. Even better, when you see the word, replace it with collaborative. This is a collaborative project among organizations from across the state with a shared goal. To enable the development of a modern, secure, and sustainable electric grid supported by a diverse next generation workforce. You're going to want to write this down. Also, the SMART in Smart Grid Center stands for Sustainable, Modular, Adaptive, Resilient, and Transactive. It is another clever acronym we do not expect you to memorize, but curious minds may have been wondering. To review, the National Science Foundation funds the New Mexico EPSCoR State Office, which manages the New Mexico Smart Grid Center, and the New Mexico Smart Grid Center is trying to enable the development of a modern, secure, and sustainable electric grid supported by a diverse next-generation workforce. This sounds great, but how are we going to do this? This is a massive project with a lot of questions to answer. Therefore, we have broken it down into smaller problems to be solved by teams of experts. Here's a brief rundown on the focus of each team. The architecture team is investigating how to turn the current electric grid into a smart grid, specifically a bunch of interconnected microgrids. The networking team is trying to design an internet networking system that is scalable and can support this overwhelming amount of communication. The decision support team is looking to enable more system automation by exploring data-driven and computer-aided decision-making options. The deployment team will test it all out in models, simulations, and real life. Our cyber infrastructure team is tasked with providing computing and storage and data preservation support for the entire project. 
And finally, there's the human infrastructure team. These are the people who are focusing on workforce development, the next generation STEM workforce, cultivating the people who are going to run this grid, and informing the public about what's going on. So what does being a member of the team mean? Working with New Mexico EPSCoR and the National Science Foundation means you agree to abide by the following standards. There are two main categories of responsibilities, and at the end of this training, you will have to digitally acknowledge you will honor them. But don't worry, this should be really easy to do. First, there's the research-related responsibilities. Do good research. We cannot build a foundation on poorly formed information. Acknowledge support. You need to acknowledge funding support from the New Mexico Smart Grid Center and any work funded by the project. And share your work, specifically your research work and data. Then there are the project-related responsibilities. We are devoted to diversity and inclusion on this team. This means leveraging and encouraging diversity of all types, including individual, institutional, geographic, and disciplinary. Inclusion means you help create a collaborative environment where each team member can contribute to their full potential. Participate in meetings and evaluations. This means team meetings, project meetings, the annual all-hands meeting, and filling out evaluations sent by our external evaluator. Stay informed. Read the monthly newsletter and your email. And finally, help us brag about you. This is one of the cool things about this project. We insist on sharing information with each other and highlighting your work to people outside of the project. Help us promote you. So that's a lot of responsibility, but there are also a lot of benefits you receive as a team member on this project. After the completion of this training, we will send you information about the benefits specific to you. There just isn't enough time to cover them all now. What if you forget everything in this video? Just go to the resources section of the New Mexico EPSCoR website. Go to the website. Go to the website. Just go to the resources section of the website. All right, the three things that you need to remember. How it all fits together. You are part of a large nationwide National Science Foundation EPSCoR project. What is the goal of the New Mexico Smart Grid Center? We are trying to enable the development of a modern, secure, and sustainable electric grid supported by a diverse, next-generation workforce. And where can you find more project resources? The resources section of the website. All right, that's all from us. Hey, thanks for watching.